Let's start with an answer for the bit burn. The flames came close to properties at Karoiba. Firefighters hope it serves as an important warning as the temperatures warm up. Crews worked through the smoky haze for nearly five hours. They hosed their properties at Kaboyba as the fire closed in. Both rural and urban firefighters planned their attack. Better option is to put a pump here. Yep, and just run over here, because this is the part we can't hardly reach. The fire started on a property owned by Isaac Smith. He had a permit to burn off, but his plan to clear vegetation around his dam quickly turned into a plea for help. The big gust of wind just coming through and just well, just out of control. We just couldn't contain it, so I had to call the fire the guy. The flames raced towards neighbouring property. So at the moment, uh, with those houses on borderline onto um, bushland. The fire was contained to three and a half hectares, then extinguished by 2:30 this afternoon. No buildings were damaged, but it serves as an important lesson. We're going to stay along, and you know, if you just have a high density, it's just out here. So I just do a little bit myself. Firefighters warn residents shouldn't underestimate the potential of dry vegetation. Emily Fardoulis, 7 News.